Okay. Now, working on hooking up the, the speed section of this. What we got is, you get these two little magnets, and you gotta put them on the rotor here, cross from each other. It's a three eighths. You have to drill a three eighths inch hole. Fortunately, my rotor already had quarter inch holes, so it didn't take a lot of drilling. And you pop these through, and then on the back side, it's got a little C clip. So the hard part is going to be figuring out a bracket for this critter to where it won't get knocked with brush and stuff. I'm thinking the back side, right about here. So I'm going to have to fabricate a bracket to hold that in place. Probably about uh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or less from the magnets. I don't know. I'll have to put it in and it's adjustable so it's not a big deal. Get that to where it works. And then after it's going, I'm sure I'm going to have to re re recalibrate the settings in the in the in the unit itself to get the correct speed or at least close to it because you got to do the entire outer diameter of the rolling force here you have to do that in millimeters mine came out to 2235 so we'll see how accurate that goes I'll, uh, I guess I'll just uh, I'll just do it along with a GPS app, maybe. I know they're not known to be super accurate either, but it's probably closer to a police radar than anything. So if I set it to the GPS, it should, should be pretty close, close enough. And then, of course, I'll test it against the van. So, well, I'm not going to bore you while I look around for the metal and stuff to fabricate this bracket. But as you can see, you just drill the holes out opposite each other. And it's 3 8 inch. So uh, I'll have to file those out and sand them a little bit. Just barely passes beneath this caliper. So it's going to be tight. All right. Get back to you after I find that metal. All right, well, that didn't really take as long as I expected it to. Could a person get any luckier? Check this out. This is uh, one of those TV Walmart uh, wall stand things, and it's leftover brackets. Check this out. <laughs> Could get it on both, both of these bolts, adjustable. And it's got the hole or the adjustable slot. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. Check that out. Dang, that was lucky. All right. 14 millimeter. No, 12. 12 millimeter. I already broke them loose. I'm a cheater. Okay. Let's see if I'm going to have to open up those slots or not. I don't want this to fall, so. Ugh. Sucks having to take them both out at the same time, but you know, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not like the rotor isn't still holding it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, check that out. Fits right in there. Okay. Let's line this up again. Get up there. You little booger. There we go. Get that one started a little bit. Wow, <laughs> that is just incredible. <laughs> yeah, couldn't have got much luckier on that one. Full adjustability and <laughs> perfect fit. 
I'll have to drill this out, of course, because whoa, look at that. That's like a half inch. I don't know. I'll have to measure it. But I'll have to drill that out a little bit. But not a big deal. Dang. This is going smooth. Okay. Get these in there. Tighten them yet, but I'll just snug them a little. Yeah. <laughs> Total adjustability. Jeez. <laughs> that is awesome. Looks like it was made for it, don't it? Alright. <laughs> Get my measure here. Ah. Let's see. At the tread, it looks like it's. Eh, half inch. Okay, now the fun part. My hardest part is finding tools because I lost almost all my tools along the road when I had to abandon my RV. So, let's see if I can find a half inch. I think I found a half inch when I was looking for the when I was looking for the a bit for the other thing. Was it one of these? Perfect. All right. Now, let's see. It's the inside one. See how far this goes up. Can I put it on the end? Ha. I can put it right in this end piece. Perfect. Wait, how far is that? Yeah, look at that. It goes, all right. Dang, this could not have got more perfect. All right. Just drill that out. Where's my drill? Drilly. Drill master. Oh, come on. You fit in there, don't you? Ah, 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 ah. Shit. Okay, got the right size bed, just won't fit in the drill. So uh, let's check the other one. So this one's neat. It's got the smaller. Eh, looks the same to me. Looks the same to you. We'll try it. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Probably should tighten those more. This is gonna. Solid than it looks. Ow! Hot, 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 hot. Okay. Let's just see if this is gonna fit in there. Then I'll smooth it out and get it put together. Oh my gosh! Perfect. Okay. God, I'm having so much luck with this thing. All right. Well, we'll go find something. Sand those down put all this together and then we'll take it for a ride and see what it does sound good all right talk to you later okay got the digital speedometer hooked up I was lucky enough to find this TV mount for a bracket that fit perfectly I don't know if you can see back in there ah. I got it pretty close. I'm not sure how close it's supposed to be. So, we're getting ready. We'll go, uh,
take it on a test run and see if it works at all. We're not worried about accuracy or any of that right now. Just the fact that it works at all, everything else is adjustable in time. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take the advice of some of the guys online here. Go ahead and uh, jet up my carburetor. That'll probably be the next project after we get this one working. Let's see, make sure. It's okay, nothing in the way. All right, let's see if this speedometer moves, huh? Okay. Let's keep it running first. Well, it's doing something. 22, 25. I don't know how accurate it is, but it is working. Yeah. Looks like it might be pretty close, too. Forty-three, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Get out of the forty zone here. Yeah, it's working. Whoa, first try. Man, the wind's pretty strong, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I want to go real fast right now. Like 66 is where it wants to stop right there. Oh, I think this thing's right on the money. Sound about right. straight away. Sixty 
64 at 6,500 RPMs. Sound about right. I've never had a tack before, so I don't know. Now it's 65 at 6,500 RPMs. 66. Okay, because of the wind, let's try some lower speed. Okay. 42 miles per hour at about 4,500 RPMs. Sound about right. I think it's doing pretty darn good. I know it's a lot better than that. Uh, than what I had, that needle bounced about an inch back and forth. <laughs> I pulled the cable out, I greased it, I reset it several times. I just could not get it to stay steady. I don't know why the Yeah, I just geared down to fourth. And at fourth, I'm doing about 38 at 4,500 RPMs. So, depending on what gear you're into, the RPMs change, right? At 40 and 47. I don't know, I think this thing's pretty dang close. I'll have to get the phone GPS app and try it out, and then, uh, Try it out against either the Jeep or the van and see what they do. Fifty-five, fifty-six, fifth gear, sixty-one. I don't know, I like the sprocket though. Going over fifty and fourth is nice, have a little bit of gump to it. I thought, I thought that was an animal. It looks like it might be a shirt or something. I'll check that out. Oh, we're going to run into a train. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see what this was. Oh, it's just a torn piece of something. It is part of a shirt. Well, wonder what happened to the rest of them. Bummer. Yeah. Speedo and tack seem to be working just about pinpoint. At least as close as you could imagine to get. I'm happy with it. doing too bad for not knowing what I'm doing.
Yeah, they put up no trespass signs and everything. That's too bad. I was gonna have some fun coming up on that. Let's take her home. Holy shit, I made it 72. Oh, dang, this thing's wobbling. All right, here we go. Ah, nah. Why does my front end start wobbling like that every time I get going fast? All right, let's see. Every time I get over 70, it just starts wanting to dance, like jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I don't understand what's causing that, if it's my tire. Maybe it's because maybe my back tire isn't on straight. I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. A little bit scary. Does great under 60, though, which is about where I like to cruise anyway. See if I can get that figured out before we do a high speed run. that fast yeah with a 77 hair on the 78 and I wussed out sorry guys uh, all I gotta say is plenty good enough for me that 42 rear sprocket really made a difference now this gauge I like this gauge like I said, it seems like it's about right on. I don't know if it'll show in this or not. Whenever I tried using my phone, it would come out looking like a black screen. I'll do this at night where it glows. <laughs> amount of camera right here on the bar just looking over the gauge when I put the uh, GPS there so we can watch them side by side and that'll be a good way to compare them I think oh, slow down bike why aren't you slowing down slow down slow down okay yeah yeah I would say this thing's right on the money I'm gonna go to fourth I'd say I'm gonna go ahead and take apart everything, lock tight it up real good because yeah, it's right on the freaking money.
no doubt about it. But like I say, we'll do the GPS comparison and verify. Maybe a drive along with the Jeeper van. Uh, uh. Uh, all right well hope you enjoyed that little demo it's nice to know everything works all right talk to y'all later